Well, thank you for joining us in 21 days of prayer. Uh, close to the river, but not quite there. Lots of snow. Today, January 18th, restoration through praying together. The Apostle James talks about prayers of faith and that we should be praying in all situations, whether they're good or bad, happy or sad, in sickness and in health. This is so true and necessary for us today. Paul says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18, to always be joyful, never stop praying. Whatever happens, give thanks, because it is God's will in Christ Jesus that you do this. Confessing our faults to one another keeps us accountable for all our actions. There may be occasions when this need arises. We need to confess our sins to a trusted Christian brother or sister who can pray in faith. This is not an easy thing to do, and may make us feel vulnerable. However, having the ability to pray for each other is a wonderful thing and holds incredible power. As we share our needs with each other, we can bring them to the Lord and He is able to bring the healing, restoration, and intervention needed. Taking the opportunity to share our needs with other Christians can help us as they may have experienced the same thing and therefore may be able to offer understanding and support for the situation you may be going through. The second part of this verse brings real encouragement and in that prayer, of a righteous person is so powerful and effective in all situations and trials we may be experiencing. I would encourage you to develop and nurture a network of trusted Christian friends around you so that you can pray for anything that may come up. It can bring comfort and support to the one in need. Tremendous power is available from our Lord as we pray with hearts in one accord. I encourage you to pray today for all the single parents and their children but let's pray together now. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you have given us the ability to pray to you. Help us to not underestimate the power of the privilege to pray with and for one another at times of confession. Thank you for the restoration that this brings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you're reading through the Bible with us, I invite you today to read Genesis 19 to 21. Genesis 19 to 21. Thank you for joining us in 21 Days of Prayer.